there folks welcome back to my channel and for this video i've stopped off in the town of renfrew because last night i was having me look online and i came across something in renfrew that i hadn't heard of before even though i've been by the very spot that i'm going to go visit i've never heard of what it is that I've, i came across last night and what it is I came across was there's a, a couple of stones. I think one's supposed to be based for cross. And I'm not too sure what the other one's supposed to, to have been, but they're referred to as Saint Columba's chariot and their Gale stone. I think collectively they might be referred to as their Gale stones, but they are two separate ones. And I think there, there is a story that the Saint Columba's chariot was supposed to. Uh, is connected to the Saint, to Saint Columba, who was an 8th century Irish saint who came over to Scotland, part of the uh, to convert Scotland to Christianity. And the connection to the stone that I'm going to go see is that he was supposed to have floated over from Ireland across the sea on this stone. Why it's now located in in the outskirts of Renfrew, I don't know. Uh, so it's, it's, it's like a local legend connected to the stone. Uh, but it's just one that's going to be a lot of interesting local stories. And with their Gile stone, the reason why it's called their Gile stone is that apparently in 1685 or something, the Duke of Argyll rested at that at this at their Gile stone itself before he was captured, taken to Edinburgh and beheaded. So I'd never heard of these stones before, never heard these stories. Uh, so I'm going to get my things in a minute and head around, try and see if I can find them and see what's going on. But before I do, uh, if you enjoy my channel, if you enjoy my videos, if you can click on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channel's coffee.com page in the description bar below and in a pinned comment in the comment section. So... With that out of the road, I'm going to head around and try and see what I can find. Yeah, I have some average cheekly parked in the, the car park for the Normandy Hotel, which is in uh, Renfrew. We've got the Shannon Road over there. Yeah, and we're that close to the airport. So, I think what I'm actually coming to find, I think I actually spotted it when I came out the car. just over this direction and it's just uh, got some uh, iron fencing around it. And if you're coming down to the main roads, there's a big gate that leads down. And this is what I found about last night. Was having a wee nosy online. No idea which one's which. No idea which one's supposed to be St. Conville's chariot, which one's supposed to be their guile stone. Apparently there is a Renfrew Heritage Trail. Might have to try and see if I can look that up and see if there's anywhere else in the trail that I can go and have a wee nosy at. Well, that is me back from having a wee visit to their Gilestone and St. Colwell's Chariot. I know it's probably a bit of a kind of quick video because, uh, again, there, there is only the, the two stones standing there, kind of with a little iron fence around it. 
Uh, I've I wasn't really, I didn't really know what to expect when I came here. Uh, I knew there was the, the two stones, but didn't, have to, didn't know if there was like anything else, any information or like any any information boards. But I, I will definitely have a wee look to see if I can find out more information about the the Renfrew Heritage Trail. Could be something of interest. Could be something that I could try and explore a wee bit. But hopefully you will have found this video interesting or found it intriguing. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.